Shalom Yiladim. I'm going to show you a picture. And do you know what this picture is? This is a picture of a Sefer Torah. Before it becomes a Sefer Torah, before it has a cover and a rod and a crown, do you want to know how it all begins? Where a Sefer Torah comes from? And who makes it so special? Well, we're going to learn about that today. There is a man, and his name is a Sofer. A Sofer is a man who learns how to write special Sefer Torah writing. Not only is it the writing of a Sefer Torah, but it's writing that we have inside a mezuzah, a megillah, and also our tefillin. Look how beautiful those letters are. Look, they have crowns. They are shaped so beautifully. This is the writing of a Sefer Torah, of a mezuzah. What else was there? Megillah and tefillin. All of them have special writing, special tefillot inside of them. But what is it written on? It is written on the skin of a kosher animal. That is called a cloth. Cloth is the skin of a kosher animal that is prepared for the sofer to write on. Before the sofer can write on it, little skinny lines are made by the sofer. Not with a marker, not with a permanent crayon, not with a pen or a pencil. Actually, it's made with a very sharp tool. If you look on my page here, you will see there are lines all across the cloth so that every single line that the Sofer writes is even and beautiful. Now a Sofer doesn't know how to write such beautiful letters right away. It takes the Sofer lots and lots of practice. Sometimes the practice will look like this. Wow, lots of measurements, lots of erasing, lots of practicing. If you want to do something beautifully, you need to practice until it's perfect. Sometimes it takes us a really long time to write beautifully in our Yoman. Or sometimes it takes a really long time until we learn to ride a bike. We have to practice and practice balancing or even to bake a beautiful cake. A sofer has to practice lots and lots of hours before he is ready to write something that is so special like a Sefer Torah, a mezuzah, megillah, or tefillin. But what does he use to write? Does he use a pencil, a crayon, or even a marker? No. He uses a feather from a kosher animal, and he has special ink that he uses. He takes the feather, and he removes most of the feathers from the side, and he has the tall, strong piece in the middle. He sharpens it, and now the feather isn't a feather anymore. It becomes a quill. Can you say that, Yiladim? Quill. A quill is a writing instrument. Now his feather becomes a quill to write a special Sefer Torah or a special mezuzah. He dips the end of his quill into special ink, 
And then he carefully starts writing. Look, Yeladim, how careful, how exact are those beautiful, beautiful letters. A sofer has to have a special neshama. He has to be a special kind of guy who believes in Hashem, who trusts Hashem, who follows his mitzvot. Only a special person like that can write a Sefer Torah, can write down all those words of Torah, can write down Hashem's name. A Sofer is a very special person because his job is so responsible. If he doesn't write the words of Torah or the words of the Megillah or the words of the Mezuzah or the Tefillin properly, oy, then those are not kasher for mitzvah. Does that mean that we can't eat them? No, not that kind of kosher. Kasher la mitzvah. They will not be ready to do a mitzvah with them. They will need to be corrected. And correcting a Sefer Torah or a mezuzah or tefillin or megillah is not easy. We can't just take an eraser. We need to take a sharp tool and chip away at the ink that is already there and a sofer will have to rewrite. Sometimes he has to rewrite just the letter. Sometimes he has to rewrite the word, the line, or even the paragraph. So the job of a sofer is very important. And we are so happy that he does the job for us. Job for us? Well, in the Torah it says that every person should write a safer Torah for himself. So that he should never forget the mitzvot. So that he should never forget about Hashem. But not everyone can write a safer Torah. So instead of us writing a Sefer Torah, the Sofer writes the Torah for us. And when we pay him to write the Torah for us, then he is doing the mitzvah for us, and it's as if we wrote it ourselves. We can't write our own tefillin, but if we buy tefillin from a Sofer, then that sofer is writing the tefillin for us. It's as if we wrote the tefillin for ourselves. So Yiladim, we see that writing a sefer Torah or tefillin or megillah or mezuzah starts with a piece of skin of a kosher animal. It then needs to have lines the sharp tool. Then we need to find a sofer who knows how to write a beautiful Sefer Torah writing, who has a quill and ink special for those letters. And then the magic begins. Then the Sefer Torah gets life. Then it becomes a Sefer Torah. Then it becomes Tefillin, then it becomes Mezuzah or Megillah. We're going to talk about more about the Sefer Torah and the Sofer in our next video. Shalom Yiladim!